Worldwide. My name is Justin Skinner and I'm here with City Club Raleigh, located in the heart of downtown Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, today we'll be making a take on a whiskey sour and it's going to lend itself to some fall flavors. Uh, we're going to be using a lot of fresh ingredients as well as some local ingredients from some purveyors that are dear to us here in Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, we will start with our featured spirit, which will be Knob Creek 100 proof bourbon. Uh, this bourbon stands up very well in cocktails, being it is 100 proof. It has notes of oak, vanilla, uh, and it's just a really well-rounded bourbon in general. Uh, we'll be also be using a Oktoberfest beer. At home, you can use any Oktoberfest from your local market, uh, a Marzen style, uh, as it's also called, uh, even a pumpkin ale or a sweet potato lager or any of those types of ales. If you can't find something along those lines, even a stout uh, with vanilla notes would work as well. Uh, we will be garnishing with some fresh local chocolate. This is from for dairy uh, here in North Carolina. Uh, we will also have some honey agave syrup for a sweetener. Uh, we have some fresh lemon juice as well. A fun addition, we have a sweet potato maple syrup that we made here in house. At the end of the video, there will be some instructions uh, to inform you on how to make this at home. Uh, it's not a, not, a, not a hard process whatsoever. Most whiskey sours, the traditional way, uh, call for a fresh egg white. So this will also be going into our cocktail here. We have some St. Remy brandy to round out the cocktail. And so we will start building this uh, at home. Uh, if you have a cocktail shaker, you can use this. You can also use a pint glass uh, with a smaller rice glass, as long as that's covered, just so you get that shaking ability. So grab our measuring jigger here. We have a quarter ounce of the honey agave syrup. a half ounce of fresh lemon juice we have a quarter ounce of the sweet potato maple syrup here Three quarter ounces of St. Remy brandy or a brandy of your liking. Right. And lastly, we'll add, before we get to the beer, excuse me, add an ounce and a quarter of the Knob Creek bourbon. And so we have this Oktoberfest Marzen style beer. This is from one of our local breweries here in town. They're a pillar of our community uh, and they are called Trophy Brewing. So we had two ounces of this beer. So you're going to want to slightly crack the shell of the egg around just so it's easy access to get the egg white out there. So crack. And you're just going to rock the yolk back into the other shell, making sure we get all that egg white into the shaker. Once we have the cocktail milk and the shaker, we're going to do what is called a dry shake. So I'm going to put that nice and tight around there. For these types of drinks, I like to cover the top of the shaker just for at least a dry shake. Right. Just give that a nice dry shake there. And this is essentially emulsifying the egg, mixing these ingredients and without diluting it with the water that will come. So once we do that, we'll add 
some ice. Outside of your tin becomes nice and cold. You can tell by filling it. We know that we've shaken the ingredients well together there. We will take our chilled cocktail coupe glass to stir the ice cold water there. Cheers. 